necessarily reflect those of the staff, management, ownership, or advertisers of WLAF TV 12, 1450 WLAF Radio, FM 100.9, or 1450 WLAF.com. Mule Pro FXT. The Mule Pro FXT is engineered to smooth out the most rugged terrain. Over eight and a half inches of suspension travel make uneven surfaces feel a lot less jarring, while a tight 16 foot turning radius combined with electric power steering means easy and effortless cornering on a dime. Engine braking is tuned for a controlled feel when heading downhill and high output LED headlights light up the way. Round out this exceptional package with the maximum stopping power of front and rear disc brakes. And there's almost nothing the Mule Pro FXT can't handle. The 2015 Mule Pro FXT. Hi, I'm Ann Love with Linda Kilgore State Farm Agency. I have worked in the insurance and financial services industry for over 20 years, formerly with the John R. W. Brown Agency. I'm a native Campbell County and enjoy helping people with their insurance needs. Stop by and see me for all your insurance needs. May 22nd through the 24th in Huntsville, Tennessee. The Woodstock of ATV and side-by-side -side events. Camp, ride, and compete. It's Brimstone's White Knuckle Event. Come experience for yourself. Enjoy live performances by Parmalee. With Claire Dunn and Outshine. Call 1-800-BRIMSTONE or visit brimstonerecreation.com. Brought to you exclusively by... Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor. Here at the new and approved Riggs Drugs. Are you missing out on extra Medicare benefits that you may be entitled to? Hi, my name is Blake McCoy with Independent Insurance Consultants. If you have Medicare A and B and have Medicaid, TenCare, Q and B, or receive extra help on your prescription, drug premium, and copays, I want to make sure that you are receiving all the extra benefits that you are entitled to. Call me toll-free today. 1-866-691-5571 and let me help you. Welcome to Raise Eggs. Raise Eggs has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long and great steaks, wonderful salmon. Also for that sweet tooth, pies and much more. For the kids, games, daily specials, dine in or carry out. Call 423-569-3354. Call Raise Eggs today. Good evening, everyone, and welcome again to Campbell County Issues. I uh, want to talk to you a little bit about uh, taxes, but first of all, I want to talk to you about my sponsors. Uh, you know, Ron's Golf Carts and the Indoor La Follette, uh Flea Market. It's hot, hot weather, and folks, you can browse, and, and you can see the prices are on it. The 
clean, clean, clean. And I say, even if you've got antiques and stuff that you would like to sell, he'd like to look at them for you. And also, I got a new sponsor tonight. I hope you uh, got to see that. This is a, a restaurant over in Scott County. It's been there for a while, and but and it's been there over a year, I guess. But uh, they've updated the, the seating and and made it larger for they can because they have standing crowds, especially on Friday night when they have their fish fry. And I mean, evidently it must be the best fish fish they ever ate because they have standing crowds every Friday night. They close at nine o'clock, and uh, you just have it, it's it's absolutely a beautiful inside restaurant, and it's on Highway 27, about halfway between Huntsville and Oneida. You can't miss it. On, if you go up through there on any night, there's going to be a crowd, and and they have the I guarantee you, and if there's anybody here and you want to just take a, a little cruise ride over to uh, that restaurant and try their steak, their ribeye steak, I'll, I'll put it against anybody's I've ever ate, and I've ate them <laughs> everywhere, everywhere in the United States anyway, uh, because outside the United States, you just don't get the best of steaks, I'll tell you. I, I, I've been in a lot of places, but... The United States has the best steaks. And I'm telling you, I put theirs up against anybody, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Seattle, uh, Chicago, Cincinnati, it, it, you name it, all the big fine, anywhere in Florida, you want to name it, Georgia, uh, these places, I've been there. And you're not, and even out in Idaho, in Montana, this, it's no, no different as far as uh, you get the best of the best at Razax. Razax is the name of it. And I'd like for some of you to go over there and just give it a try. I'll call me and ask me about it. And then uh, the, the first one that ever it goes over there and has it, and if you'll call me back, if you don't like it, I'll make sure you got your price for dinner back. That's how much I really and how I really believe in them. Because, you know, we drive to Knoxville and we'll pay uh, uh, $50 for uh, two people to eat or $80 two people to eat. You go to Razak's, guarantee you the best steak that you can possibly put in your mouth. It's as good as you're going to get anywhere with the trimmings and the whole bottle of wax. You're not going to pay any more. And I'm telling you, this is top notch, top notch. Go for it, give it a try. And, they, and they're open for a, a, a great breakfast too, folks. So, uh, and some of their prices, I can give them the prices. Uh, you know, you can get a real buy steak uh, breakfast, uh, two eggs and taters and, and gravy and biscuit for eight ninety nine. Uh, country fried steak breakfast, seven ninety nine. Pancake breakfast, five twenty five. And the basic breakfast, that's two eggs, fried taters, your choice of bacon, sausage, or bologna, or ham, served with one biscuit and gravy, $5.99. They're open till 10.30 uh, on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and they're uh, for breakfast now until uh, noons on Saturdays. So I, I'm, I'm sure like this, any of you to go over and give that a try, I appreciate it. But, Tonight, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about taxes. Uh, I know you all uh, got a little problem, but if you haven't seen the paper, I'm pretty sure that it's run in every paper. And I'll just read it to you here. Notice of sale of property for delinquent taxes by auction on Friday, May the 22nd, 2.15 at 10 a.m. Now, what I wanted to say, the rules is that you you must pay your taxes before uh, May the 22nd. If your name is on that list, and folks, there's over 300 on that list, and 
hun hundreds of thousands of dollars on that list. But whenever I look at this, it seems that, I mean, there'll be a lot of this paid, I'm sure. Uh, and and you got to make your check out to Dennis Potter, clerk and master. But so much of this is business, uh, absolutely businesses that just they hold on to the last minute and, and until they're they're forced to pay. And I don't know what the penalties would be, uh, like Emerson's properties uh, in the village, villages. I'd say. Uh, They've got several, several, but now they're not the real high ones. But here, um, um, Mr. Ayers, R.L. Ayers, has property of, uh, in the first, it's, uh, at least twenty twenty thousand dollars worth of properties at, at, for uh, taxes. So, now what I want to say is that first, a lot of people that's in this county and in our county or any county, they have, you know, they have the monies to uh, gamble on these on you know, these properties, and they can go in and, and buy a lot of properties, a lot of properties. And I know people that has several properties that they fix them and rent them up or whatever. But again, uh, these most of these things are. Uh, 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 where the big uh, money is, uh, is involved is businesses. So, anyway, I want to talk to you about your, the taxes. I want to. I want to talk to you about anything you want to talk about, but I want to talk about cops. You know. We have two cops just shot down in cold blood down in uh, Louisiana, I believe it was, or Mississippi, I guess it was. And we're everywhere, we're all just, I mean, jumping all over our cops. Now, all cops are not bad, folks. And without them, I, I don't know what we would do. I know we wouldn't do nothing. We'd have our country would be we'd be gone and we just wouldn't have a country and, and a lot of people we don't need no government we don't need no government and especially one of my uh, guys that sends a, a lot of emails to me I've never seen anyone that's any more anti-government than he seems to be and anti-government is we got the best system in the world but it's it's not perfect so anyway I want to talk about that a little bit tonight and then I want to talk to you uh, uh, if you will I want to talk to you about anything you want to talk about but I like to talk a little bit of politics I want to know what you think about your, your leaders here in the county. Because every time I pick up the paper and I read Ann Hester Cop, because I get that uh, paper every week. I got here, that's the reason where I got these delinquent taxes. And I know taxes is a, and the increase in taxes is definitely coming down the road. There's no question about that. I know I done. I done paid mine. Uh, I think it's well. I know it's over two thousand, twenty-three hundred dollars, I believe. And and I don't believe there's any of us that loves to pay taxes, and I'm definitely one of them. But I do realize, without the taxes, we don't have schools, we don't have roads, and we don't have uh, police enforcement. So uh, those are three things that we just can't do without. And now how this delinquent taxes, you know, and I hear all that we're, they're a half a million dollars short and they're this and that. 
these taxes on this delinquent taxes here, I, I'm sure that a lot of that does go to uh, the clerk and master. There's no question about it. Clerk and master and how old some of these uh, particular uh, taxes are. If, if any of them's over 10 years old, they're not collectible. You just cannot collect them. That's that simple. You cannot collect uh, more than 10 years of delinquent taxes. So anyway, let's talk about it. And I'd be happy to talk about any of that. Any other uh, thing that you uh, got? You had time to think about your uh, school director. Any really thoughts about that, or any any uh, I guess information or influence that you would like to influence or try to influence the new director? Uh, it's a whole new ball game here for you folks. And then also, if I can't get you to talk, I've got another question I'd like to ask, but for, for all the curiosity of my mind, uh, I saw the largest supposedly copperhead I've ever seen in my life uh, Saturday. And it was down at the Anderson County uh, campgrounds. And I don't know who caught it. They had it in a plastic bag and going around and asked, was it a copperhead or was it? And I really thought his head was round and instead of a diamond shape. And, but the, most people says, well, no, it's, it's definitely a copperhead. And I don't know. But I can't never remember seeing a copperhead that's yellow. Uh, or, or you know it's a tan instead of a brown because all the copperheads that I can ever remember seeing and I've seen quite a few they're always brown and this one was and I'm not exaggerating it was that big around and I've never seen a copperhead that big around but uh, <laughs> there's a bunch of, of uh, people from uh, Union County and Anderson County saying it was a copperhead, but it might have been. But is there anyone out there ever seen uh, more of a real tan, almost yellow copperhead? Talk to me. Now, I hope I'm going out. But anyway. Just, I know, uh, oh, that's going to supposed to be, because uh, uh, I believe I heard her say, because uh, <laughs> Hazel Valley uh, kind of jumped on Ann Hester last Monday night. I looked for some, uh, I don't know, revenge or something. Uh, I do look for something other uh, shaky tonight about that issue. But uh, I can't get anything stirred up on taxes. I thought I thought I would get bombarded with taxes, and I know that everybody's not down on the lake tonight because there's uh, showers in in the vicinity and and been some lightning and thunder too. So. Uh, know that there's that many out and what they'd be doing on a Monday night but anyway give us a call we'll talk to you about any subjects you want to talk about or we'll even forget the subjects uh, I might have to oh uh, There's a lot of controversy going on between, in the uh, Republican Party now. Uh, anybody like to comment on that? I keep hearing a lot of different things, and I know there'll be some stuff, stuff going on in, in the Democrat Party. Here again, uh, all 
fired up here before long. But uh, now I, I have. Uh, I've had a few calls, not a, a great deal of calls, but a few calls. Uh, very dissatisfied with your county commission. I'd like to know from you all if do you support that if you work for the county, you are on the payroll of the county, do you support them serving and making decisions on raisins or who gets what or this or that? Is it kind of, is that right? If you uh, work for the road department and you sit on the, that county court, are you not going to favor the road department? If you're a school board member, aren't you going to favor the schools? Or if you're a, a if you got family working in the school system, are you not going to favor them? I don't believe, and I've said this many times, I don't believe that they should be anyone, anyone that's sitting on that court, if they have a family member working for the county or they work for the county themselves, they should, I don't know, you, you, you can't, this court can sit there all night and never vote on any issue because they can say it's a conflict of interest. So if there is a conflict of interest, should you serve? And I can't stir up nobody tonight. I can't make anybody mad, not even over taxes. So I, somebody's really mad at me. <laughs> not even over taxes, folks. You're on the air. Uh, if you want to get it going, go ahead. Now, why do you want to come over here and pee me off on the first thing on a Monday night? I've come here and sat down to enjoy it. You want to get me going? No, I've done all my taxes, I've done paid all that stuff all my life. I've done took everything I've ever had. I'm still waiting on death because everybody was told me death and taxes. So they just took all the money. I'm just dancing on the door. So uh, okay. Any day. Well, did you watch the show last night? No, you couldn't. Oh, man. I worked on that thing until 1030, honest to Pete. Uh, I mean, because I swear it'll be on 15 minutes, because, you know, last week he had a problem with it. And so I keep rebooting and redoing. And I mean, I don't know what's going on. Uh, you have to get on with they're, it. They're, they're, they're hiding that stuff from me. <laughs> Here you go. Well, I missed a lot. Well, we, 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 we talked about taxes for about an hour. And about 1030, because... Uh, uh, I, uh, for uh, I'd say six or eight months, I've had a lot of people want me to, to do my gospel uh, album on, or CD on on the air and just play it and uh, let them hear the songs and 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 request them or whatever, and I can tell them what all I got and and, and we done that for nearly an hour last night. It got I mean, but one guy called me about ten thirty and he said. Why don't you talk about taxes about sitting there and singing songs half a night for it? <laughs> hey, buddy, you can't win. You know how it is. I said, I said, you buddy. Know one thing they'll be griping about it. They wait talking about the other thing. I said, I said, we talked about taxes for an hour. <laughs> oh, I just now turned it on. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that, that's me. I usually get lost in translation. It, uh, uh, I just wanted to call it and aggravate you a little bit there, but no, we couldn't get you up front, so make sure you fill the work on the Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> talk to them. But have you seen the paper and seen the number of delinquent taxes? I'm not. I 
I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm not even got my thumb. I'm, I'm really in bad shape. I got both papers right here and ain't read neither one of them. Okay. That, and, and, that, that page, see, and I'm talking about little bitty type. Oh, Lord. And. I, I see it there. You hold it up there. And this page of delinquent taxes. And, and now. And, and the reason I got this and and was ready to talk to them about taxes is because uh, if this is old taxes, why well, hasn't it been collected before? Now I'm I'm going to tell you, uh, Dennis Potter. Uh, yes or no? He is. Um, he'll be one of those people to say, okay, uh, uh, Mr. Coker, and and your uh, Chancery Court people. Uh, this is what we're supposed to do. And uh, and you're talking about somebody go after that money. <laughs> well, they should. But you know, I, I used to question that years ago. I mean, on the Pete, uh, I mean, because I had to get out of the way that thing. And of course, you see a lot of people, you know, and stuff. And so I'm talking to a fellow one time about this. Well, they don't, you know, they don't force enough and you know a lot of it's rental property for a lot of people yes uh, used to be i don't know i've not looked over well, this there. this one like i've said before, uh, earlier i don't know whether you're watching or not but a little earlier uh, so much of this act is uh 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 llc's or right or whatever and and, and uh business uh taxes and see the, the thing is, is it's a uh, That's what I'm saying. You you look here and there's probably a half a million dollars worth out there. But once they go down and, and they'll and they work these things out, and I'm I, well, it's break time. I, I'll tell you a story whenever I come back. No, I'll just go tell it now. Hang on. Okay. Uh, whenever I was elected a county commissioner, I I said you know I'm not going to allow this stuff. These people are going to pay their taxes one way or another. And so I sat down with a, uh, one of the owners of a, a factory in Scott County and told him, I said, now how do, we want, how do we want to work this? Which way do we want to go? He said, no, no, no. Uh, you're not going to tell me how to work it. I'm going to tell you how we want to work it. Thought, oh, really? Oh, oh, hell. <laughs> so, <laughs> on the wrong big toe, I think, right? And he says, uh, I got 400 workers out there. You want to go after me or and we wanna, we'll just move someplace else because you know uh, uh, Campbell County will take us or, or Macquarie County will take us. Somebody will take us and, and for, for us not pay the taxes. They'll do that. He said, do you want to lose them 400 workers or do you want to Right. Forget, forget this conversation. <laughs> that's all far about it. Huh? But, but that's how it works. But it is, if they want to be able to collect that, I mean, just look how much they would do. But they let it drag out. And I hope that it does put an end to it, you know. Uh, I understand people have problems. And if you have problems, you know, you've got a two or three year period. Yeah. So if you can't get work out two or three years, you're in trouble. Right. So, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and taxes here are extremely cheap. I know people drive and carry on. If they lived in other parts of this country, they'd, they'd all have struggles. They wouldn't even but seven people live here, you know? Yeah. I mean, if they had to pay what the people, other people had to pay off, you know? And so they really get a lot, a lot of bang for their buck, you know, what they put in. But you're like, so you're not going to get nobody to agree. You know, to pay more taxes and, and to do, it's just not going to happen. Right. You know, and, and they, they, sometimes they do have to raise. But if they would collect a lot of this money, now look where it would put them financially. Yeah. You know? and so it is a big deal. And I hope Dennis does get on the stick with it and everything. So I hope it's going to be interesting to see how many of these properties are sold on May the 22nd. Right, exactly. I mean, I agree with you. You know, and uh, 
there, there was other things that used to go with that, you know, that you, you know, you can't talk publicly about because you get in trouble if you live here. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, that you feel it happens over there where you're at too, everywhere. Right. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Absolutely. Uh, it used to be, and things are changing. It's going to be a different, different thing with business. I tell you. Yeah. They, so, they, 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 they know who's got the gun. They, they definitely do. They definitely do. So. Get them rattled right up here, and I'm ready for you, that big man. Okay, talk to you later. Bye bye. Right. We'll be back out of these words from our sponsors. Welcome to Raise Axe. Raise Axe has a friendly service with a family environment. With that country kick, it's a family owned with delicious food. Offering breakfast, lunch, supper all day long and great steaks, wonderful salmon. Also for that sweet tooth, pies and much more. For the kids, games, daily specials, dine in or carry out. Call 423-569-3354. Call Raise Axe today. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. If you live for the outdoors, there's a Polaris to match your passion. Confident, comfortable, capable, that's Ace. With a solo cockpit, automotive controls, independent suspension, all-wheel drive, and up to 45 horses of fuel-injected power. Calling it revolutionary would be an understatement. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. I'm Cindy Christian with Linda Kilgore State Farm. I've been providing excellent customer service for State Farm customers for four years now. I'm licensed in auto, home, life, and health. Come in and see me for all your insurance needs. May 22nd through the 24th in Huntsville, Tennessee. The Woodstock of ATV and side-by-side -side events. Camp, ride, and compete. It's Brimstone's White Knuckle Event. Come experience for yourself. Enjoy live performances by Parmalee. With Claire Dunn and Outshine. Call 1-800-BRIMSTONE or visit brimstonerecreation.com. Brought to you exclusively by... Riggs Drugs has been a part of Campbell County for generation after generation, serving our friends and neighbors. And now we have redesigned our store to better serve you. It's the same knowledgeable and friendly staff, but a new look and new technology to ensure you get your prescriptions fast. We've always got you covered from prescriptions to all your home health needs. We've always been more than a pharmacy, still offering a huge selection of gifts and decor. Here at the new and approved Riggs Drugs. Are you missing out on extra Medicare benefits that you may be entitled to? Hi, my name is Blake McCoy with Independent Insurance Consultants. If you have Medicare A and B and have Medicaid, TenCare, Q and B, or receive extra help on your prescription, drug premium, and copays, I want to make sure that you are receiving all the extra benefits that you are entitled to. Call me toll free today. 1-866-691-5571 and let me help you. Okay, folks, again, like I said, we, you've seen the commercial now on uh, Ray Zacks. I mean, that's just uh, a country boy and his wife. I get, uh, they were from Scott County, live in Scott County, and they, this, I guess, had this dream of uh, just having a fine restaurant in Scott County and I don't think there's one in Camel County even comes close to it really don't not even down on the lakes or wherever if you never uh, I mean I'm telling you if you ate, if you like steak or you uh, like uh, salmon uh, they have it and on Friday nights fish fry it's standing room, folks. It's but it's first come, first serve, uh, and and they'll seat at least a hundred people. So you know it's got to be good. And 
I just hope you, some of you will go over there and give it a try. And then if uh, my, the caller just called me earlier, you know, we talked about uh, meeting sometimes and having uh, dinner together or lunch or something. Now, if you take your wife over there, and if it's not, if you like steak, and if it's not, or doesn't meet anywhere you ever ate, anywhere, bring me the bill and I'll give you money back. That's how sure I am of it. It's that kind of a, a place. And, uh, well, uh, I have to say that uh, from the poorest people to the richest people go to this place. And, you know, there's something there for everybody. And it's just a good good place to go. And But the, there's no alcohol. No alcohol. Uh, I guess that does as a drawback for some people, but uh, to me, uh, there's nothing that you can fix that goes good with for me with alcohol. I just it don't. I don't even like pizza and alcohol. But anyway, I hope you go over. Some of you give it a try. Uh, I talked this in, guy into uh, sponsoring me for a while. We've lost a sponsor or two, and and, uh, and yeah, yeah, we'll get, we'll give it a try. So I hope. We, if you go over with our tell them that RL sent you, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, but I can't understand why uh, last week, a week before last, uh, people wanted to talk about the taxes. Talk about the taxes. Now we got taxes here, and and we we got the same problem you guys have got. Uh, and and they're talking about you know how we're going to do this and how we're going to do that and. and some of the commissioners are wanting to do, they want to put a, a entertainment tax uh, and tax the, the people that comes in for the uh, concerts. Now the concerts, well, you know, uh, well, uh, the 22nd is when it starts over in Scott County. We uh, got, uh, we got two places that's having uh, concerts uh, the, that Memorial Day weekend, and we got two that has them on the Labor Day weekend, and one two weeks later. We got three different days that we have concerts in Scott County now. And so that does bring in taxes. But here's this here in Campbell County, one of the things that uh, still, uh, it still bothers me because I don't understand it. I really don't understand why, because you guys has had a right in your restaurant to sell mixed drinks for quite a while, and you're still not doing it. Uh, even in the town of La Folle, I don't know until they went down on the four lane where you even had the, there's nothing in the old town of La Follette. I don't know, if, is there a, in any kind of a restaurant other than a fast food place in the town of La Follette, inside the town, other than Katie's and they don't even stay open at night? Is there anything? Or am I just talking to myself? I'll, I'll ask the uh, honeybee. Honeybee? Well, I'll bet you honeybee is off doing some other work. So I must be here by myself tonight. So what I'll do? What I do? I will... You're on the air. Ariel, I 
wanted to let you know your station kept getting it out on the internet. Uh huh. The, the commercials, it, it can cut off, but it'll stay on for maybe 30, 45 seconds. Then it'll go off for about 10 seconds, but then come back on. Oh, so you, you, the station here is going on and off? Yeah, it's the station. Oh, okay. The commercials, there was no, they didn't go off. There must be some kind of short or something not connected good in there in the room where you're at. Uh, because we watched uh, Johnny Webb's show uh -huh. and it didn't cut off any at all. Uh huh. So, and your commercials didn't cut off, but you're cutting off in there. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going in and out. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, really bad. That's, that's, that's aggravating too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'd let you know. Okay, I'll I'll uh, I'll let Honey Bee know about that here just in a second. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Honey Bee. She's I know she's got she has other stuff to do whenever, but when it's commercial break, she'll come back around. Uh, and let me just. I don't know what to do. I, let me holler at her. Excuse me, folks. Oh. Oh. Honeybee? Yes. Uh, I got a call saying that we're uh, in and out, in and out, in and out. Not it must be their head because I'm watching it fine. Oh, okay. I, I've been watching that, That's what. Um, Jerry said about the website, and it's fine here. I don't know. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Well, she says it's fine here. That's all that she knows to do. But anyway, somebody talk to me. Uh, or I'll just, I, I mean, I'll let her play her, uh, my commercials and I'll go home. Because, uh, but like I said, you know, I came tonight prepared to talk about taxes. And, uh, and it doesn't seem to be the subject anybody wanted to talk about tonight. You're on the air. Yes, uh, yeah. You go ahead. If you, I'm watching you on TV there. You're that good. Uh, ain't going that bad. It must be on the computers or something. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, then I appreciate that. Well, what do you think about this tax deal? Sorry. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't want you to like it, man. I ain't brought my bill for us. Well, let me ask you this. Is there any other way to finance or pay for the things like the schools, the roads, and everything we have to have? Uh, without taxes? How do how do we do that? And if we don't raise taxes, what do we have to do? The only way to do that is broaden your tax base. And we, and in and, and Scott County and here too, we refuse to broaden our tax base by taking advantage of very high, high alcohol taxes. Why do we do that? I don't. You know, really, I mean, you've got to have taxes to take care of it. You have to. And you you have to have your county government. You've got to have that. you got to have schools. you got to have roads. You, and there's other things that just, that has to happen. And the only way to do that is through, with monies. And... But it, you know, Oak Ridge, they, and whether they're the same people that we are, Knoxville's the same people that we are. I'm, I tell you, honestly, I've had people that talk to me and say, you know, this old, I, and folks, I don't drink. I mean, every once in a while, if I want one, I'll drink one. But I don't, I don't know that I've ever in my entire life went into a restaurant and sat down and ate and and drank a beer or a, a shot of liquor and because i always felt it was stupid to do that 
to spend that kind of money for it. But people do that. And why? It's everywhere in this country. You were asking earlier if they're in the in the downtown Wapala, they don't have a restaurant. No, we're in in the town to sit go in and sit down and eat. The only one they got is Katie's and, and they don't stay open at night. Right. And and it don't make sense. I, is the, I don't know that there's even a place in downtown Wapala or in the Oast, put it the old city, that even sells beer anymore. Even beer. But you take Rockwood. Ever, every town, last election, there was nine pounds on voting for liquor by the drink. And eight of them passed and Hans fulfilled. And oh, oh you know, I think it, that should be passed. Uh, that would help a lot on the tax. You're not kidding. It would be a big deal. But and, and especially uh, mo most people that move down here from the north and retires here in Cam. There's a lot of people retires on that lake down there. A lot of people. And and I guarantee you. Uh, half of them, half of them from up north will drink alcohol one way or another with their food. It's just a common thing uh, that uh, drinking wine with your dinner. But we 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 refuse to let it. But now you know, before long, it's not going to be long that uh, every store will be able to sell. Uh, why that, that wants to sell now uh, this uh, uh, I was trying to think of the name of the the can it's uh, or the drink it's uh, hard tea hard hard tea you can buy it anywhere any of these grocery stores or anybody going but people don't realize it's five percent alcohol. That's more alcohol than most beers are. But it, it don't it don't require a license to sell it. Well, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and and I guarantee you this uh, uh, Red Bull yeah. and stuff like that. It's probably ten times more dangerous to your health than any alcohol drink. I, I would say you're right on it. There's no question about it. It's it's awful. But I'm no 